Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ in the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. With humble heart we say, I confess, confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, and they have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your grace, Almighty God, always go before us and follow after so that we who await with heartfelt desire the coming of your only begotten Son may receive your help both now and in your life to come through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the needs of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. It is about to be revealed. Blessed is the man who does this, the Son of Man who holds to it, who keeps the Sabbath free from profanation and his hand from any evil doing. Let not the foreigners say, when he would join himself to the Lord, 
the Lord will surely exclude me from his people. The foreigners who joined themselves to the Lord, ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord and becoming his servants. All who keep the Sabbath free from profanation and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. Thus says the Lord God, who gathers the dispersed of Israel. Others will I gather to him besides those already gathered. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exalt, because you rule the peoples in equity, the nations on the earth you guide. O God, let all the nations praise you. The earth has yielded its fruits. God, our God, has blessed us. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O God, let all the nations praise you. Please stand. your peace that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept testimony from a human being, but I say this so that you may be saved. John was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's, the works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform, testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Sa ati pong paghahanda, sa nalalapit pong kapaskuhan na darating sa atin, tayo po ay tinatanong ng ating mga pagbasa. We are asked by our readings of today, more especially in our first reading of today from the prophet Isaiah, are we in the right direction? Are we doing right and just? Ito po yung mga tanong na very personalized or very personal para sa atin. 
But this question is to be answered by us on how we value the goodness of God given for all of, of us at this time of our preparation, this Advent season. Once again, my dear brothers and sisters, we are reminded of God's salvation and grace in which He has freely and generously offered for all of us. Yes, indeed, my dear brothers and sisters, our joy that we should celebrate, each one of us are reminded this time that we see the joy that has come into our midst. The better reason, my dear brothers and sisters, that we should be committed to live what is right, do what is just for my salvation is about to come. This is the words, or these are the words of our Lord to the prophet Isaiah, gives us direction toward him, bringing every one of us, leading us all toward him, toward his holy mountain, his kingdom of grace and light, so that all of us, we may all belong to the light which gives us the grace and courage to proclaim our Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, in our gospel today, we have St. John the Baptist. Before the coming of our Lord, the precursor who ruled of a prophet always announced the truth and the true light, the Word of God, without any hesitation. St. John the Baptist, my dear brothers and sisters, strongly called for conversion, for of heart. He pointed to, the, to Jesus and announced that we are the way in the way to Jesus. John St. John the Baptist in our gospel today was burning in shining love. And for a while, you were content to rejoice in his light. John was a bright light shining every one of us, my dear brothers and sisters, everyone bringing us to the way up to Jesus. He courageously testified to the truth of the coming of our Lord. He showed his authentic role by his witnessing and loudly crying out, for all of us to repent. He was not proclaiming himself, but rather the Messiah to come. The attitude of St. John the Baptist, my dear brothers and sisters, of being unentitled or not assuming of his character in a remar remarkable way, or St. John the Baptist would tell us or showing us his simple and radical way of life and genuine call for conversion, which attracted so many and a lot of followers. My dear brothers and sisters, this action of St. John the Baptist that we have right now is truly a direction toward to Jesus, our Messiah, who testified to the truth that the Father has sent him to save the world. And this is the challenge for all of us now, mother, brothers, and sisters, at this time. Are we embracing the same action of St. John the Baptist? Are we embracing the true truth in our life that leads us to see the true meaning of joy that gives us this coming Christmas? If we are the right, we if we are in the right direction, my dear brothers and sisters, by doing the right and just every day in our life, truly, my dear brothers and sisters, we are all witnesses and testimony of truth. Always embrace the truth, because embracing the truth is also embracing our Lord embracing our God. And this is a call for all of us now. 
God revealed His love to us. God revealed His truth to us. And this time, mother, brothers, and sisters, we are asked to examine our very self and to assess honestly of our value and image before God. Like St. John the Baptist, we are called to testify the works of God. We are called to testify the great love of God. And always, we are called to testify Jesus in our everyday action, in our everyday endeavors, to be good example that we can help other, our brothers and sisters, to find the right direction and life. And this is our prayer for today. May all of us, we testify the truth, we testify the good news by our own doing every day. Amen. Please stand. My dear brothers and sisters, Jen the Baptist has come as a witness to speak for the light. As we prepare for the coming of that light, we ask the Father to hear our prayers. In every petition we say, Lord, let your light shine on us. Lord, let your light shine on us, that each member of the church on earth may be watchful and ready for Christ's coming. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let, let your, your light shine, shine on us, that the leaders of nations may grant liberty to people who have been unjustly punished and imprisoned. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let, let your, your light shine, shine on us, us, that like St. John, we may become worthy and credible witnesses of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let, let your, your light shine, shine on us, us, that those who are overburdened in life, especially the lonely and the sick, may experience the joy of Advent. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let, let your, your light, light shine, shine on, on us, us, that the faithful departed may find the joy of everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let, let your, your light, light shine, shine on, on us. us. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. Almighty Father, your mercy is from age to age. You feel the starving with good things. Teach us to commit ourselves to your way of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy, 
to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift off your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you from long ago, and often for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is let made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which you have poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have been worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be God and to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints you have pleased you throughout the ages, we are made to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our, our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the skull to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only, only say, say the, the word, word, and my, and my soul, soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Replenish 
by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, refine the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.